uh, and there might be a bit of radiation around that. So, like, there are things like, like, like technically, the, the, the universe did expand faster than the speed of light. That's that's uh, that's why we can see uh, light from uh, all these super distant stars. Elon Musk has just said the unthinkable. He's created a propulsion system so advanced, it might reach light speed. No hype, no science fiction, just quiet admission. A warp bubble, a new era. If it's real, it could rewrite the rules of physics and bring the stars within human reach. The announcement from Musk. On July 26, 2025, Elon Musk walked onto the stage at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, and made what could become the most significant announcement in the history of human exploration. We've built a propulsion system so advanced, he said plainly, it can reach light speed. The words weren't shouted nor dressed in spectacle. They were spoken like a fact, but that fact landed like a meteor. Within minutes, newsrooms from Tokyo to Toronto were erupting. Headlines flooded in, some in awe, others in doubt. Has Musk broken physics? Read one. A new dawn or another delusion? Read another. Even for a man who's redefined both electric cars and orbital rocketry, this felt different, bigger. Musk didn't come draped in hype this time. He was careful with his words, using terms like demonstrated and early stage instead of revolutionary or guaranteed. Yet what he admitted to was monumental, a working prototype of a warp-based propulsion system. The world paused. Physicists were caught between disbelief and curiosity. The public, many of whom had only recently gotten used to Starlink satellites crisscrossing the night sky, now faced something pulled straight from science fiction. But this wasn't fiction, it was Musk, a man with 23 years of aerospace credibility under his belt, the same man who landed rockets backwards and launched thousands of satellites into low Earth orbit. His track record demanded attention. This isn't about going faster, Musk clarified. It's about changing how we move through space altogether. And just like that, the ceiling of human speed, the one Albert Einstein etched into the laws of reality, was being questioned, if not outright reimagined. A cosmic speed limit, perhaps not broken, but bypassed. In the hours that followed, speculation outpaced even the speed Musk had claimed. Was this quantum tunneling, a new form of ion drive, or something far stranger? Something older theories had hinted at but never realized? Musk said only this, we've bent space around us. We didn't push through it, we let it carry us. The implications were staggering. Suddenly, the stars weren't far away. They were within reach. Theoretical foundations and past work. To understand what Musk has just admitted to, we must rewind the clock back to 1994. That year, theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubier published a paper proposing something extraordinary, a warp drive, not by breaking the light speed barrier, but by warping space-time itself, compressing it ahead of a ship, expanding it behind. The ship would ride this wave like a surfer on a cosmic tide. Crucially, it would never locally exceed light speed, skirting Einstein's limits by flowing through space rather than racing across it. For decades, this idea stayed mostly on paper, a mathematical artifact, but it inspired a fringe lineage of experimentalists. One of the most notable was NASA's Eagle Works Laboratory, led by Dr. Harold Sonny White. In the early 2010s, White and his team used laser interferometry to detect possible shifts in the quantum vacuum. Hints, however faint, of space-time being manipulated in a lab. Though results were debated, it marked the first time a major institution dared to test warp concepts directly. Musk name-dropped Eagleworks in his announcement. They got us thinking differently, and he said. But he also referenced the cautionary tales. Technologies like the M-Drive, once hailed as reactionless propulsion, later debunked after peer review in better testing environments. Musk made clear he wasn't chasing myths. Instead, Babatim Sipaminezan, he credited modern refinements in warp metrics, like those by Eric Lentz in 2021 and Fuchs et al. in recent years. As the true bridge between fantasy and engineering, one breakthrough was key. Newer warp models didn't demand Jupiter-sized amounts of exotic negative energy, as Alcubierre's original math did. Instead, they proposed positive energy shells, configurations that, at least on paper, made warp propulsion physically possible within achievable limits. Warp theory was never science fiction, Musk said, it just needed better math. Today, thanks to decades of gradual breakthroughs, warp theory is no longer locked in the realm of blackboards and simulations. Musk's light propulsion drive is being framed not as a gimmick, but as the real-world application of once untouchable physics. A culmination not of guesswork, but of over 30 years of increasingly refined theory. And if it works, it could mean we were wrong not about physics, but about what we thought was permanent.
Enter the Light Propulsion Drive LPD. Elon Musk unveiled the name of the new system just hours after the press conference. The Light Propulsion Drive, or LPD. He described it as a generator that forms a warp bubble, a region of altered space-time that can carry a spacecraft across vast distances without relying on traditional engines or fuel. The concept echoes the original Alcubierre model, but must emphasize this was not theoretical. We've generated a stable warp field in prototype conditions, he stated. It's small, but it exists. The ship, he explained, wouldn't accelerate in the conventional sense. Inside the bubble, everything remains inertial. No G-forces, no stress. Instead, space compresses ahead of the craft and expands behind, letting the ship float forward on a moving river of geometry. From the outside, it would appear to move faster than light, but internally, time and motion behave as normal. Crucially, Musk claimed the energy requirements had been dramatically reduced. Early models called for negative mass, something we've never observed. But Musk credits quantum field manipulation and recent studies using positive energy densities for making the bubble feasible with known physics. People are looking at this like a sci-fi headline, Musk said, but we're past fiction. This is engineering now. The LPD is not a polished product, it's in its infancy, but the blueprint Musk shared shows a propulsion system without moving parts, driven by electromagnetic fields in space-time topology. It doesn't need thrusters, it needs precision, power, and vacuum control. If real, it could mean a new class of spacecraft, ones that ride the shape of the universe itself, overcoming the energy barrier. For years, the biggest obstacle to any warp drive was energy. The original Alcubierre proposal in 1994 required a mass energy equivalent to Jupiter just to nudge a small craft forward. Worse still, it demanded negative energy, something purely speculative and unmeasurable. Musk addressed this head on. The math has changed, he said, and so has the power curve. Recent theoretical work, especially by Lenz in 2021 and Fuchs and others by 2023, has rewritten the equations. Their models show that positive energy configurations, actual physical matter, could substitute for the exotic materials once thought necessary. Using carefully tuned energy shells and space-time gradients, these designs reduce requirements by several orders of magnitude. Musk's team reportedly harnessed fluctuations in the quantum vacuum, the seething field of energy present even in empty space. By amplifying and shaping these fields, they aim to trigger space-time deformations on a small scale, slowly scaling toward larger applications. It's not about brute force, Shedromi said. It's about structure, folding space, not punching through it. The prototype still uses enormous energy, but no longer unimaginable levels. Musk hinted at future integration with fusion reactors or even zero point energy, tapping directly into the base layer energy of the universe. If proven, this approach would not just revolutionize travel, it could redefine power generation on Earth. Instead of waiting centuries for alien fuels or exotic physics, humanity might already hold the keys. The LPD suggests we're no longer bound by the old limits, we've just started learning how to reshape the road itself. Flight Mechanics and Human Experience What would it feel like to ride inside a warp bubble? Musk painted a surprisingly gentle picture. It's like being inside a moving room that's not really moving, he said. Within the bubble, passengers wouldn't feel acceleration. The ship's inertial frame stays calm, undisturbed. There are no sonic booms, no crushing G-forces. It's not about speed, it's about shifting the medium beneath you. The real motion happens to the space around the craft. Relativistic effects, like time dilation, are minimized inside. From the perspective of the crew, a trip to Alpha Centauri might feel like a few months, while Earth clocks record a slightly different figure, depending on the warp metrics used. To outside observers, though, the craft appears to move faster than light, jumping across space without any visible propulsion. Musk likened the experience to surfing on a space-time wave rather than pushing through it. You're not flying, you're flowing, Rob, he said. This has massive implications for human survivability. Traditional spaceflight involves brutal acceleration phases, radiation exposure, and stress on the body. But a warp-enabled ship, safely inside its bubble, might avoid much of that. Navigation would shift from burn vectors and gravity assists to waveform tuning and geometric targeting. The craft doesn't carry people through space. It carries a piece of space with people in it, and that might be the biggest shift of all, redefining a journey not as distance crossed, but as geometry transformed. The human experience in space could finally become smooth, stable, and timeless. Implications for interstellar travel 
For the first time in human history, destinations like Alpha Centauri, once a 4.3 light year impossibility, are now being discussed in the context of months or years, not tens of thousands. The light propulsion drive doesn't just tweak current rocket tech, it replaces it. Rockets, with their tanks and chemical fuel, become obsolete for deep space. This is not faster travel, Musk said. It's accessible travel. With LPD, the galaxy becomes a logistics problem, not a physics one. Musk framed it simply. If we can create and stabilize warp fields at scale, then space becomes as reachable as air travel was to the Wright brothers. Just a matter of route planning, shielding, and sustainability. Colonization, too, shifts from dream to blueprint. Mars, once Musk's primary target, becomes a training ground. The real opportunity lies farther. Proxima B, Tau Ceti, or even planetary systems around TRAPPIST-1. For the first time, human lifetimes may stretch across interstellar borders, not through generational ships, but through routine travel. Entire branches of science and industry must adapt. From cryogenic medicine to long-range navigation, every assumption is challenged. But perhaps most startling is how quietly Musk framed the future, not as conquest, but as presence. Where we go is less important than who we become by going, it thought, he said. Scientific and energy revolutions. The implications of LPD go far beyond travel. If this system manipulates space-time through the quantum vacuum, then it taps into something deeper, the geometry of the universe itself. That means mastering this technology doesn't just change where we can go, it changes what we can power, build, and understand. Space isn't just empty, Musk said, it's structure, and structure can be used. The biggest revelation may be in energy infrastructure. If LPD-related systems can extract usable force from vacuum fluctuations, Earth's dependence on fossil fuels or even fusion could vanish. Think zero emission, space-based power stations, drawing energy from fields once thought to be theoretical noise. This would redefine civilization. Global power grids would shrink, remote regions could become self-sufficient, and orbital economies, mining asteroids, refining in orbit, even space manufacturing, would no longer be limited by transport cost. Scientific disciplines would realign. Cosmology, material science, and high-energy physics would pivot to understand this new access to foundational forces. LPD suggests the universe may not be a passive backdrop, but a toolkit, one we're just learning to use. And if the power is scalable, then every rocket, every factory, every car could be replaced with warp-enabled systems. The carbon age could end, not with collapse, but with graduation. Strategic and ethical stakes. Musk's revelation doesn't exist in a vacuum. It lands in a world of nations, militaries, and economies. And with light speed potential, the stakes multiply exponentially. Who controls the path controls the pace, Musk warned. This is not just technology in its access. The LPD invites a new kind of race, not an arms race in the traditional sense, but one of presence and influence. Whoever can establish footholds in space will control resources, establish norms, and shape humanity's future narrative. Already, nations like China, India, and ESA members are reportedly seeking access to the underlying science. Musk advocates for transparency, but the reality is complex. Should companies own access to interstellar pathways? Do governments enforce ethical exploration? What happens if terraforming or non-human life is discovered? These questions, once hypothetical, now demand answers. International space law, still based on treaties from the 1960s, is outdated. We lack a warp age legal framework. There are no agreements on deep space claims, ethical modification of alien worlds, or the rights of AI navigators acting independently across light years. Musk called for an interplanetary council, a blend of corporate, academic, and governmental forces to shape new ethics. We can't apply Earth's rivalries to the stars, he said, but even that idea is controversial. Who gets a seat? Who gets veto power? In this warp-enabled age, the frontier isn't just physical, it's philosophical. And if humanity fails to align on values, we risk repeating our worst histories just on a much grander canvas. Skepticism, validation, and path ahead. Even as headlines celebrate the LPD, the scientific community remains cautious. Peer review, replication, and transparency remain non-negotiable. Musk acknowledged that. We've built something real, he said, but we need others to prove it's not a fluke. Skeptics point to history, the M-Drive, cold fusion, and countless propulsion claims that fell apart under scrutiny. Musk knows this. That's why his team has already submitted their preliminary findings to international journals and invited academic observers from MIT, Caltech, and ETH Zurich. 
NASA's Advanced Concepts Division and the Applied Physics Group are already modeling their own subluminal warp bubbles, and if their data aligns, the conversation could shift from, is this possible, to how do we scale it? Key metrics still need verifying. Energy input, field geometry, quantum coherence times, and reproducibility across labs. Musk promised open source elements of the design by early 2D26, allowing physicists to independently test the underlying space-time distortions. But perhaps most telling is Musk's humility here. It's not solved, he said. It started. The LPD isn't market ready. It's a sketch, one that needs better math, more data, and experimental rigor. But it's also a spark, one that could light a fire under a generation of physicists, engineers, and dreamers. And if even part of it holds true, everything changes. Vision of a warp-enabled future. Musk ended the announcement not with data, but with vision, a picture of what comes next, not just for SpaceX, but for humanity. We become multi-planetary, yes, he has said, but more than that, we become multi-system. In this future, humans don't just live on Mars. They're born near Tau Ceti, die orbiting Proxima Centauri, and send messages via quantum entanglement networks between systems. Warp travel becomes not a feat, but a feature, a background condition of civilization. Cultures diversify. Time becomes flexible. People on different planets age at different relativistic rates, creating chronologically diverse identities. OI assistants manage synchronization. Orbital shipyards in the Kuiper Belt build vessels not to explore, but to connect. New professions emerge. Space-time architects, quantum navigators, temporal diplomats. Children study galactic geography in primary school. Religion, politics, and language shift to accommodate species that now span light years. The LPD doesn't just change motion, it changes meaning. And so Musk didn't end on science, he ended on sentiment. The universe is no longer a wall, it's a canvas, and we've picked up the brush. If Elon Musk's light propulsion drive proves real, it won't just change how we travel, it will redefine what it means to be human. Light speed isn't about speed, it's about destiny. The cosmos is no longer a distant dream, it's an open path. And Musk may have just handed us the key.